Hello, all you positive heads out there. It's so good to be back with all you beautiful reflections of the one source consciousness that creates and animates all things. If you're new to this podcast, of course, we are super happy to have you here. And we just ask that you bring an open mind and heart to your listening experience and to be prepared to explore vantage points that I'm convinced will help shift or solidify your current understanding of the ultimate nature of reality in a way that is extremely empowering. Speaking of exploring powerful perspectives, I'm super excited to announce the release of my very first book, The Golden Key, Modern Alchemy to Unlock Infinite Abundance. If you're ready to alchemize the circumstances in your life so that your abundance expands to an entirely new level in 2021, head over to goldenkey.gift to download the audio or ebook as my gift to you by using the code POSITIVEHEAD. All right, all you positive heads, welcome, welcome. Here we grow again. It is a fantabulous Friday here in the studio as I record, and I am not in my normal studio, so microphone sounding a little bit different. Just so you, in case you're wondering. And uh, yeah, let's see what we're going to talk about today. I have uh, well, a couple, couple things come up right away. One is before I start recording, I always will take a moment and just do some some deep breaths and um, yeah, just check in with myself. Do you know? Do a little visualization, opening my chakras, and I just got such chills doing it, and it made me realize like how powerful it is doing, you know, breath work. I mean, I just was like just a minute or so, but if you haven't looked into breath work or done any breath work, I, I highly recommend it. Um, it, it's just, yeah. I mean, I literally feel like a little high from doing 30 seconds of breath work (laughs) and, uh, in a very good way, it just opens you up. It's like such a, such a powerful and simple thing. And you can go on YouTube and find, you know, some techniques, et cetera. It's, it's so simple and powerful. So, and, um, yeah, just empowering all the way around. So just, I'd share that cause I'm literally still feeling kind of the, the buzz from it. Um, otherwise, uh, what I wanted to chat about today is I, I received a message from someone, which happens from time to time. You know, mostly I, I get some really inspiring, encouraging, optimistic, positive messages. And I got one yesterday that I'm not going to say it was negative, but it wasn't, you know, um, it wasn't, you know, the most positive thing I've ever received. And it just got me thinking, um, this person basically reached out and said, um, here, I'll read it to you. Hey, Brandon, just curious if you can share with me, um, where you learned and accredited your knowledge and frequency of your offerings on quantum mechanics. Do you have your training stated somewhere I can read? Thank you, a discerning spirit. And then he went on to say, or I'm not even sure if it's who this is, the name Tannis, but uh, are you aware of the actual difference between vibration and oscillation? We do not want to raise our vibration, LOL. That is a contraction of energy. This is why I'm asking you who your influences are because the statement is widely used in the new age, in caps, world that is completely not correct. If you're a person who is sharing info on quantum mechanics to the masses, Know your basics. I'm just saying. You do have a bi- positive vibe, however. Lots, lots of gaps. However, lots of gaps. Um, so, you know, <laughs> what was my instant um, feeling around this? What is your feeling? And I went on and, and I just, I was, I wrote something really quickly. I, I You know, reading this, I uh, honestly, I, I probably could have even been more mindful in my response but I just wanted to get it out there. I was in a bit of a hurry when I you know, when I responded, and so what I wrote back is: words and exact definitions are less an important are less important to me than the implied meaning, energy, and spirit behind the delivery. For example, the energy of your message feels a bit self-important, condescending, and judgmental. Those are not really energies that appeal to me, as I have not found them to be helpful and valuable tools to benefit others or help the cause of the one employing them. Imagine the difference of how this message would have been received had it been sent with love, compassion, empathy, and understanding as the energetic undertone. Now, 
you know, I've certainly done my fair of shin, sending condescending messages. And it, like I said, it, it, this wasn't crazy negative or anything, but it didn't achieve the aim. It's like, you know, you're, it, there's certainly an air of self-importance and, you know, you know, new age capitalized and, you know, sort of like these caps and, and pointing a finger. And, you know, I instantly thought of this idea of, look, you catch more flies with honey than vinegar, right? And so less about, um, you know, our emotions are reflected in our vocal intonation, right? That combined with our body language, if you're seeing someone. And so always check in with your vibrational offering. What's your aim? Did, did, I'm not saying there's, an, uh, you know, I haven't even honestly looked into sort of what he's talking about from a physics perspective um, because I, I was too um, distracted by, look, your, your way of approaching it isn't achieving the aim of getting me to um, feel, you know, what if you came to me with love, like I said, and just said, hey, I, you may not realize this, but here's where you're off and here's where you could improve. And here's, you know, and it's like, oh, okay, you're creating an ally instead of sort of putting someone on the defense. Now, w- what is the opportunity for me not to get overly defensive or, or, you know, any of those things, which, like I said, even my response, it's fine. It, it says the point, but I could even been more mindful had I taken more time and not been actually half asleep when I started <laughs> responding. But the, the point is, is, you know, it made me realize how important and, and why I wanted to talk about this today. Like this felt like something certainly pertinent and relevant and just unfolding in my own world. Um, how important it is and, and what is the energy in which we're delivering the message it, you know, it's so much more important than the the actual words is, is all the underlying energy around it. And if we want to be highly effective, if the 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 aim should always be to have a, a, a as much uh, love, empathy, understanding, compassion in our delivery, especially if we are pointing out to someone where they have sort of missed the mark, right? Where they're off or where they're wrong or, you know, what have you. So, um, yeah, I, f- I feel like this is something that I've, like I said, I've done my more than share of being condescending and delivering a message in a way where the, pro- I've probably done it more than the average person, to be honest. Like just, I, I've, I've had a habit of, you know, sort of like making my point by being really like ex- exaggerating big time, like how ridiculous their perspective is or you know whoever i'm sort of at odds with in that moment we're super exaggerated and um and just you know childish honestly (laughs) and it doesn't it doesn't help it doesn't achieve the aim how do you get people to you know how do you create a bridge that's the question if you want to get a message across that you think is going to benefit someone how do you build a bridge hey i can see why you might think that this or that is uh, why, you know, why I can understand your, how you got there. However, let me point this out to you or that, you know, create, um, create some common ground with people. And so, you know, I would, I would encourage you in your life to, to examine, is there a place where you're creating dissonance and, um, you know, the, the, the ground is not common because of the energetic offering you're bringing, even if what you're saying in your, you know, your your perspective is technically correct, right? Are is it achieve? Do you want to do you want to just be technically right, or do you want to achieve po- the the results, positive results from what you're sharing, right? That's been that's been a big one for me, and that's that's why I think this really jumped out because I can relate to this person. Even you know, um, I, for me, I wouldn't do it to a stranger. I'm much more gracious with strangers than I can be with people close to me. I can, I definitely can be, uh, I've gotten way, 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 way better than years past, but you know, kind of, kind of tough on, uh, those closest to me, partners and family members, et cetera. So, yeah. So as, as I was considering this and wanted to talk about it today and share, I started looking like, Oh, I wonder if there's something cool and fun to share. Um, I haven't shared an Abraham clip in a long time. Um, and maybe there's something out there. I I found this clip, um, titled the universe doesn't hear what you say. The universe hears what you mean. And I listened to it and it wasn't speaking as much to this particular, you know, angle or perspective. Uh, however, I really, really liked what it shared. So in the spirit of following the flow, 
of uh, what wants to come through on this this fine uh, moment in eternity. I am going to share the universe doesn't hear what you say. The universe hears what you mean. This is Abraham talking for a few minutes about this this topic. Check it out. So, from everything you just said, when I first was introduced to you on a plane in my head, the next day told a different story, literally changed my life around within three days. It was fantastic. Because Um, you had put plenty of things in the vortex, you didn't know enough to get in your own way, you believed what you heard, practiced it a little, got rid of all resistance momentarily and what you wanted showed up in obvious ways to you and you said I can do this overnight we love that story next (laughs) it's good no no it's all good I'm not going bad I'm not so and that was for work and business and then there's just a couple of other things and I've been plodding along for a few years and it's brilliant it's really really good and there's a couple of things and I'm like Sean you've got to get your head around this it's I've been so long. beating up on yourself help on a regular basis? Absolutely not. So, so rather than you've got to get your head, you've got to stop doing that thing that you're clearly doing and you've got to start doing that thing you're clearly not doing in order you've got to get your act together. Mm-hmm. That, that kind of, you don't like that when other people say that to you and you don't like that when you say that to you. So is there a kinder, gentler way that you could express that? I'm really looking forward to getting my head around this. No? I'm really for- looking forward to doing that thing I haven't figured out okay, how to do. All right. Okay, okay. I really want to um, do that thing I haven't figured out how to do. Let's see, maybe I can smile and use better words. <laughs> but the universe does not hear what you say. The universe hears what you mean. So what you want to do is mean something different than what you mean. In other words, you get what we're saying? You have to find a way to, here's a, here's an easy way of looking at it. Let's say you're a hundred thousand dollars in debt and you want to be a hundred thousand dollars in the black. So there's a $200,000 spread from where you are and where you want to be. Well, it's unlikely that you are going to accomplish that in terms of manifestation right now, this red hot minute, but it is possible for you to have a vibrational shift. It is possible for you to move within the next two or three or four or five or 10 minutes from worry to ease. You can accomplish that vibrational shift. And that is the work because if you understand that that's the work, then you're not trying to fill the grid in by saying the right words or by doing the right thing. Because when you're taking action from a vibrational vantage point, that's more in harmony with the problem than with the solution or the question than the answer, everything you say or do adds impetus to the resistance rather than to the allowing it. It's what we call trying too hard. You mean, well, it just doesn't work. That's why so often you sort of just have to give up. You say, oh, never mind. And you don't mean you don't want it anymore. You mean you're not going to give yourself a hard time about it anymore. Does that make sense to you? You've got to be nice to yourself. You've got to be really nice to yourself. And when you're nice to yourself, you feel good. When you're nice to yourself, you feel hopeful, not discouraged. So you have to find a way. Now, maybe it's better to stay off that subject altogether and just Think about the subjects that it's already easy for you to feel good about because that works. You don't have to get focused upon that specific thing that you want to have done. You just have to stop doing that thing that pushes it away. So if you don't think about it, you're going to stop doing that thing that pushes it away. How about that? But most humans think, oh no, I have to wrestle this to the ground and kill it. I have to make this happen. And we say that isn't the way that it works. You've already made it happen. It's happened. It's in your vortex of creation. It's happened. You just got to stop doing that thing that keeps you from seeing what's happened. You just got to stop doing that thing that tunes you to a frequency where you can't see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it or feel the emotion of it or, or receive the impulse about it. That was really good. That was really good. And that, that represents the reason that nearly everything that you want that represents the reason that everything that you want is taking longer than you want it to to come that right there that right there so how do you find the feeling place of something that you don't have yet well try a little 
it helps. Or remember something like it. Esther will say, mm, I remember this and I liked it. So I'm just going to think about that. Because even though it's not happening right now, thinking about it gives me that same feeling of liking it. So if you're thinking about something or even imagining it or I saw it in a movie once or, or I remember it or I can imagine it, just activate it within you. We'll hear you. Well, it's irrelevant now, I guess, because <laughs> you just explained Unless it. you want to practice. Okay. Unless you want to practice it. Okay. So, so are you saying to us that things are going really well for you, but there are just a couple of things that, yeah. that you would like to shine a spotlight of what on? Mm -hmm. now, th this is important. So, so what do you think? Because you know how you feel about it. What do you think is your best way of preparing your climate? To take the couple of things that you're sort of frustrated about and talk about them or to take the myriad of other things that you feel great about and think about them. What's the best way for you to prepare your climate to receive yet another thing that you want? Are you hearing this? To think about the good stuff. Yeah. That's so easy, isn't it? Yeah. And <laughs> it sort of bothers you, you deliberate fiends, because you want to hit things more head on than that. So the question is, can you hit it head on and still feel good about it? We've been talking for a while about step one, which is the contrast causes you to ask. Asking is step one. Step two is source answers it. That's what this vortex of creation is that we're talking about. That's the vibrational reality all queued up. And then step three is you being in a place where you are, you've, you are in this moment in a soft, easy non-resistant resonant state of being so that you can realize the manifestations of what's in your vortex and then Esther says and then what and then what and we say and then you're going to do it again and then you're going to do it again step one two three 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 and then what and then what and so then we say if you practice this enough so that you're steadily there no matter what so that you are no longer knee-jerk responding to the conditions or the comments of others but you are responding to the climate that you have established now you are living a step four experience Esther said please call it step four please please please, <laughs> please call it step four please call it. so what's step four step four is when I am consciously aware of so much well-being that's happening all around me that nothing dissuades me from my knowledge of well-being and this is irrelevant and this is irrelevant and this is irrelevant and this is irrelevant and when it comes into relevance I will recognize it but I'm not going to use that or that or anything as my excuse to hold myself in vibrational discord with who I really am and what I really want in other words I'm no longer going to make mountains out of molehills I'm no longer going to beat the drum of something just for the sake of feeling enough momentum that now someone else will jump on that bandwagon with me I'm going to care first and foremost about how I feel we think we've convinced you you have thank you in fact we think you are so convinced so knowing and so there that you could actually speak in positive terms about something that you do want without right now offering resistance to the equation we think that you're ready for a step four moment want to want to do it absolutely so let us hear it um, I want I want to be surrounded in my life I, I want to be surrounded I am, surrounded. I am surrounded. I am surrounded. I am surrounded. Feel the difference? I am. I am surrounded by Getting people. Getting better and better at seeing it all the time. I'm surrounded and seeing it better and better all the time. They're everywhere. And I want to be so joyful that I only attract I am that. so joyful. I feel so good. My life is so good. There is so much evidence of this well-being. There's nothing serious going on here. I haven't got a thing in the world to worry about. This is co-creation at its best. I so love my point of attraction. 
I so love this cooperative universe that's playing with me I so love all the co-creative partners that are letting me know what I've what I've got going on vibrationally I love knowing what I've got going on vibrationally I just love I love knowing what I got going on vibrationally I love tweaking my vibration and watching the results this is co-creating its best life is so good for me I love being here I really really love being here that's it <laughs> that easy thank you genius Yeah, love this. So beating yourself up, it just isn't helpful. The universe doesn't hear what you say. The universe hears what you mean. You can move from worry to ease relatively quickly. You know, when you start realizing like, hmm, I'm, I'm trying so hard. This is, and this is one of the reasons I wanted to share this because man, can I relate to that too? Just trying so hard, like, oh, if I grind enough, you know, uh, I, I can get there. Now, you, some of you probably seen this, um, this meme where it's like, uh, aligning is the new hustle or something like that. So stop trying so hard, be nice to yourself, uh, and, and get into a state of hopefulness, uh, you know, and start, I, I love how she talked about remembering something from the past that really felt good. Oh, I remember this and I liked it. it I'm, you're finding a way to activate that vibration uh oh, my my friend Tannis is not loving using that word. <laughs> Find a way to activate that vibration, that resonance of what feels. Oh, this feels familiar. I remember feeling really good about my progress and feeling really hopeful and activating that vibration and you know creating fertile ground, right? The, preparing the the climate to receive something else you want, right? If you want to grow. Um, something in your garden, you need to do some preparation. You need to set the stage, create the right climate, the right circumstances, the right watering, etc. And I love these four steps. And we probably shared them at some point in the past, but man, what a powerful reiteration and remembrance of these four steps. First thing is contrast has you ask, right? So knowing what you don't want points you to what you do want. So stop beating up that thing that you don't want. It's just contrast. It's helping to, it's helping. It's like a compass for you. It's, it's steering the way. How many people have had a relationship and dated someone and like, Oh, now I know that's the thing I don't want anymore. Or now I know this is a thing I do want. So contrast is important. Step one, step two, what Abraham always talks about is this vortex of, you know, we're in, we're floating in eternity. Time is an illusion. So instantly source has answered your request in no time in 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 the vibrational escrow that you are holding with you know source source can create and manifest and experience any possibility that you can dream up so it exists in this vibrational holding place this vortex our aim of course is to align with it so we can see it populate and show up in our movie in our time-based reality that we are existing in there's there's um a formula to get that that thing that instantly is in your vortex to appear in our movie. And it doesn't come from grind, you know, fighting, work harder with stress and anxiety. Step three, she says, you're in, get in a soft receptive state, right? When you are not fighting, but allowing this creates fertile ground for it to come through. And then getting step four, not responding to others uh, or excuses for your vibrational discord. If, if, if someone is, is doing something that triggers you, not allowing that to get you into, here's why they're wrong and I'm right. And I'm now in a vibration state of vibrational discord. Nothing, you get to the point where nothing dissuades you from your knowledge uh, of well-being. And I've felt this actually, even in recent days, feeling frustrated with it. A project for a moment and like oh and you know the the how slow things are going or this that and the other and then like oh nope that's not the path that's nope oh nope that's not the story uh, let me get back to my knowledge of well-being and i can catch myself i see myself when i slip into that state of and story of vibrational discord and i course correct and oh, it feels so much better than living in a state of um vibrational discord 
And you know, when, like she said, when it comes into relevance, you're going to see it. You're going to recognize it and say, oh, there it is. I don't make mountains out of molehills anymore. And therefore, it's not if, but when, when this shows up in my movie. Whew, we're doing it. And I'm proud of you. <laughs> I have a song from uh, my dear friend, Nate, who was on recently, a uh, musical artist, a.k.a. known as Equanimous. This is a new remix. Um, the artist uh, is Will Evans, remixed by Equanimous. The song is Adam and Eve. Till next time, journey well. Love you so, so much. Also, before we queue up today's song, as a quick reminder, don't forget to download the Golden Key audio or ebook as my free gift to you at goldenkey.gift using the Golden Key code POSITIVEHEAD. And please, if you enjoy my gift, leave a positive review on Amazon so others can unlock their lives with the help of the Golden Key as well. Listen in.